All right, so I've been asked a lot of questions about how to make a key switch to um, start any ignition from the late 60s all the way up, all the way up to the 90s. So that's the purpose of today's video. So you'll be able to start any of these engines with this key switch. So stay tuned. So today's video we are making a key switch, a universal key switch that spans probably close to 50 years. Um, yep, I have a side plug there. So whether you want to plug in a side plug and or plug in a uh, eight pin, eight pin plug, this is going to be universal. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and splice these wires and get them ready for reconnection. All right, so now I got these wires to connect into this eight pin adapter. Everything looks good. So we're about ready to solder them together. All right, so the first two wires we're gonna do is common sense. It's uh, this red. We're gonna match the red with the, the red over here and then the black with the black over here. Okay, so I have the red connected right here. So now I'm just gonna take a letter, a big letter, and just solder all that together. All right, so now the red is connected. Now I'm going to move on to the black. As you can see, I twisted the wires together. So I'm going to slide this over. I'm just one-handed because I'm multi-talented. So now that the solder is on there, I'm going to put a spark to it. I'm going to tighten it up. All right, so now the red, red and the black are connected. So now we're going to move on to the other wires. Now we're going to connect this gray wire to that gray wire because that is your uh, choke, which is pretty critical if you're trying to start your engine. Again, I twisted the gray wires together. And then we're going to put the solder, solder shrink tube over it just so it matches. And we're going to solder those together. All right, so the next two wires, you got the yellow. And with the newer ADI ignition, you have the uh, yellow with the red stripe. So we're going to go ahead and uh, connect these two as well. Just like that. I'm going to heat shrink it. So I'm going to digress here. The gray, the gray on the old controller, the gray on the old controller goes to the the gray is the tack, and the tack on the old controller is brown. So we're going to have to reconnect those. Okay, so the gray on the old controller, which you would think would match with the gray, it doesn't. Yeah, so it goes to the yellow and black wire here, so I'm just going to feed this over to this. And then put that together. Yep. So I made a mistake but it's rectified right here. Okay, so the brown of the old controller for the tack goes into the gray for the tack. And that's where the color differential comes from. So I'm gonna go ahead and solder these together. All right, so the last wire on the completion. This is the orange wire, which does not look orange at all. It goes into the black slash yellow wire. This is a kill switch. So I'm gonna solder this together and then we're going to test it just to make sure everything works all right so everything looks good right here now this is a uh, for your temperature which uh mercury inlines don't have that unless you're in like an 88 so whatever but everything looks good here now before i tidy all this up and put electrical tape around it i want to test it first just to make sure everything works properly because that's what a good mechanic does right hmm. Alright, so I've been getting a lot of questions on how to make this key switch. So, there you have it. So, I have everything wired up there. Battery is powered on. And uh, we're going to see what happens.
everything works. So now I have an effective side plug T switch. And if you can make a universal switch like this, which you might have to destroy a controller with a pin. All you have to do is buy this. This is like a you know, $20 switch and wire into this. All, all the color codes should match, unlike this. As you can see, it's very confusing. And then try to match the color codes from, you know, anywhere from the uh, 60s, 70s, 80s into this. So, but that's basically it. So now, I have another key switch. And, uh, hey, thanks for watching.